Welcome everyone, your iPhone's in recovery mode and you try and leave but it won't let you. So I'm going to use the power and home button together and usually when you see the Apple logo you can release but you, you just saw it entered recovery mode, I can't leave or well, you can leave but uh, we will need to do some in, uh, steps on the computer, Windows or Mac, so I'm going to move to the computer and uh, let's exit the recovery mode. On the computer, first of all, start by uh, going and getting the iMazing software. This is completely free to use. If I don't have the link in the description, you'll need to search it up manually. And I'll make sure you have this software downloaded. If you have a Windows computer only, you will need the Windows version of uh, iTunes. Uh, so you can see that you want the download iTunes for Windows Now, 64-bit one. Uh, if I scroll down, there is a Microsoft Store version. You do not want to use that. Now, once we have set up both the iMazing and iTunes for Windows only, then we want to search for and open up the iMazing app, like so. And we're going to see, you know, iMazing, but we can continue trial. The trial is infinite. And you're going to see this one here Exit Recovery Mode. All you need to do is click on this one and hope for the best. So I'm going to click on exit here and you can see an iMazing disconnected. Disconnected means the device is not connected to the computer. You can uh, see this one right here. Uh, so I can't manage this device. But my iPhone 6 is now booting up. Remember early in the video, you know, it will just immediately go into the recovery mode. But uh, now it seems like we may be in business. So I'm just going to give this a couple of seconds here. And uh, there we go. So any moment now, the iPhone 6 should show up. It's restarted. And there we go. You can see available. And um, yeah, the same iPhone 6. Uh, fully working. No problem. I can manage the device just like I would once. If iMazing failed to exit recovery mode, then you have two options. First of all, uh, on the recovery screen, you can try and update the software. See if that's going to help. If you get an error then, you want to try and restore the iPhone, see if that works. But if all of those fail, unfortunately, a you know process of the storage chip, the microphone chip, one of these chips on your iPhone has broken. They're faulty, and uh, you know if you go to Apple, they're not going to help you. They say you know buy a new iPhone. You will need to find an independent repair shop which can try and do some soldering to replace those chips. If you can't find a store, unfortunately, you're out of luck and your iPhone 6 is out of commission. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.